Hello everyone, today I'm going to be giving you an unboxing and review of uh, an external microphone for a Canon Rebel T3i. I think they're compatible with other Canons, but uh, we're going to take a look at it. We bought this one from Costco, and I believe it was $50. I'll have to confirm this when I edit it, but uh, let's open it up. I really love this box. It makes it look like you're buying something really, really expensive. Um, not that $50 isn't expensive, but you know what I mean. Okay, open it up. We have a uh, instruction manual. Um, okay, alrighty. So we'll maybe go back to that. Um, now we can look at the beautiful microphone here. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Um, and this is a shock mount stand, which um, goes on here which uh, gives you kind of like a shock mount. So, um, we're going to open the batteries up. Maybe. And it also includes some batteries here. It's some off-brand batteries, as you can see. I believe it says uh, Golden Power. Yeah, that's not AAA or Duracell, but <laughs> we'll stick with these because they're included. Alright, now we're just going to put these batteries in, so pop that out, put the uh, off-brand batteries in, and there is a power on button right there, so we are going to just power that on, and then I'm going to show you how to put this on your Canon Rebel, so we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to put the shock mount on the external mic. So we do that by sliding it into a little section of the shock mount, and it takes a little bit, it's a little tricky to get it on there, but once you do, it's really nice. Um, so you uh, put it on there, and now you're trying to get it on the camera. So you're sliding it into where an external flash would be, now, one thing I would say about this shock mount, it is actually not very sturdy, so I'm not sure how it would actually help, but I guess if you were just using this in a still position and not moving the camera, it would be okay. Now, this is for just the actual um, mic itself, no shock mount. Uh, you're doing the same system, same thing, um, and now you're going to turn on the microphone when you're done. Now, uh, as we'll zoom in here, you can see that there are two versions that you can turn on, the 90 degrees and the 120 degrees. And here's a little test. This is 90 degrees. This is a 120 degree test. Now that was a test of the different degrees, as you just saw. Um, now I'm going to show you, this is a Canon Rebel P3i. This is how you would put in your external mic input. That there would be a side uh, side port here, and you open up that and just put it right in there. So it just works pretty perfectly. Uh, you can see some different sound differences. This is an internal mic, uh, with the sound levels that you're seeing here now. And uh, in just a few seconds, you'll see uh, the turning on of uh, the other uh, the, of the external mic. Is what I mean to say. And you can see the levels instantly go up and it is a great value as far as that goes. Overall, I really like the mic itself. Um, I think for $50, it's a pretty good value. There was one small thing I didn't like. There was a slight buzzing in the background for um, if you're filming this with the microphone. I'm not sure how to get rid of it, but one thing to kind of avoid it and to delude the sound is to um, add some music, just add some music in the background, which um, I think that would pretty much take care of it, but overall, I like the microphone, I think it's going to be a great addition, leave a comment below if you have any questions, or if you have this microphone yourself, please let me know if there's anything else you've discovered, uh, until next time, this is Fin 11 I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.